So the second match that was aired on last week's last week's Friday's edition of Schools Challenge Quiz featured the following teams: Kingston Fortis College and Sunjago. I should let them introduce first, you know. I should let them introduce first. So let me, let me rewind, you know. The schools that were featured in last Friday's doubleheader round, the second match in the series, <laughs> featured San Diego. San Diego High, fresh out of Monk Street, and they went up against Kingston College. You know my idle bad people. My idle bad, you know. And as usual, we're giving God thanks. This is the second segment of the commentary but we still are give God thanks nonetheless yes so come we go so no surprises at all guys no surprises whatsoever for the most part are all the parts <laughs> Jago led as was expected and as we say you know it's a simple them school yeah like all like Kingston College and Jago especially this match it don't make sense to do the best at three because when you see the first match, you, you realize it. Boy, make it go on. Make it, make it stick on. But you know, should be the best of three when I some near, some near score thing. But I've seen in instances in the past where, you know, the other teams them make a, a major comeback. I remember years ago when I think St. Jago and Arden had played a match. And, you know, in one instance... Them smarty did that trail smarty and then them come back again. So it did nice, it did nice. But me not think of the same thing I got up with KC and said Jago. Pretty much. Um as usual. To be honest, you know, the squares them never so bad after the speed section because they were leading, St. Jago was leading KC by eight. So the score ended on 25 to 17 at the end of the speed section. The opening challenge. I think it was on five to something. Because the question them start get harder now. You, you actually see why as the runs progress, the, the questions are definitely, the degree of difficulty is actually intensifying. So that said, when they went into the buzzer round, Casey just start backslide. Yeah. Um, they were out, they were outdone by, let me just get the last score because it doesn't make sense. We believe upon the point. We 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 get it. We get it. We, we know say we know say Anna this KC are gonna go through at the end of this quarterfinals. You know, probably next KC next year. But the score ended on KC on 33 and uh, Kingston College 13. So Kingston College ended up losing more marks than they get that, that went than they went into. And St. Jago, being the more experienced, being the more astute, being the more knowledgeable, as usual, them, and them, they, them didn't make a couple mistakes well. They made a couple wrong answers still, but hey, that's expected. Nobody is perfect. Um, so St. Jago, I'll see you in the finals. As we said, Manad, Manad, come on, I'm going to get past them semi finals and them quarter finals. Um, I don't know, actually. To be honest, I just hope them keep keep them and Calabar apart until the finals. Because at them two them a bank plan, right? No one to lose the money after the after the finals the match. You get me? Yeah? And that note, guys, have a really great Monday. Um, stay safe. As I said, it was gonna be a very brief commentary. You know, nothing, there's no surprises. I I, I only extend it when we say surprises or anything. I have to take note about big up, big up, my friend, with the edges. I see your edges. I just mega start call you. I just mega start call you, Kevanja. Yeah. <laughs> but big up the team from St. Diego as usual. You know, awesome performance. Can't wait to see you in the next match. Well, not the six, but more that more the semifinals. Yeah. Toodles!